Good morning, this is Lisa with the Peacock Parlor. I have a little journal that I want to share with you today. It's probably about, um, I would say, three and a half by five. And uh, this, what I used for the cover, is a card. And it is from, I think the date is on the back, it is from 2004. I used to go to Michael's a lot, and um, they carried a lot of Mary Inglebright items, and they don't carry them so much anymore. Um, when I tied the pages in the center, I put some little red beads here on the green wax thread. I thought that they would they looked a little like cherries. So, it says, too much of a good thing is wonderful. And I have in here, I made this for a friend. And what I have in here is some vintage Mary Inglebright um, papers and rubber stamping, just things that I collected, and then other other scrapbook page pages that I thought looked close to her work. Inside, I've included a tag that says "Handmade by Me," the Peacock Parlor. I've included some t handmade tags that I've stitched. This one here has the zigzag stitch. It says it's a charmed life. That is a Mary Inglebright sticker. And then this is some some post-it notes that I had. I, I glued that on and that is from her her snap out of it illustration. Celebrate together. Little pockets. Now this is some washi tape that I had. One of her, she has another um, illustration that says Bloom Where You're Planted. She's pretty famous for that one. This is a, a Mary Inglebright rubber stamp. More tags and things to glue here and there. This is a vintage Mary Inglebright sticker. Vintage paper from Mary Inglebright from a, I don't know if it was, it's like a paper pack that was in a tin that a friend of mine gave me because she knew that I collected Mary Inglebright items. A little doily. Washi tape. These are some Mary Inglebright rubber stamps that I had. This says Cup of Kindness. This is from the that paper pack. This is one of the envelopes from um, the Mary Englebright pack. Another vintage stamp, some more washi tape. Now the washi tape, this one doesn't have, <coughs> excuse me, uh, great adhesive on it. It seems to keep wanting to peel up. But some of the washi tape, why I've put so much in here, is because you could lift it up and if you wanted to put a photo or a tag or a ticket or a note and then you could use the washi tape you could you can pull it back up and you can you can stick that in there um, some of the washi tape has more better adhesive like this one looks like it sticks a bit better you know you could peel it up and stick something there if you wanted to this is not Mary Englebright but it looked a lot like her with a bowl of cherries take time from doing to enjoy being and then this is a Mary Inglebright stamp down here the little girl this was a pen that I had and on the end of the pen was a stamp that if you rolled it along the stamp is what would come out It's basically blank journal so that she, she can put in the things that she wants to. A Mary Inglebright cherry sticker. Bowl of cherries. Little pocket here to put things in.
So basically I wanted to use up some of my Mary Inglebright things. And make us use do a simple this is a thank you from the very bottom of my heart. That's Anne Estelle, her famous character. This is also Anne Estelle. She's rushing off to a party. This is from the sticker collection of Charmed Life. Um, look for blessings everywhere. This is also a stitched card. This is a stitched card as well. This is another Mary Inglebright stamp. The Princess of Quite a Lot. She's also got the Queen of Everything, but I don't have one of those stamps. And then this is a little, a little tuck that I made that you can stick a paper in there and you can write and journal in there. If you have one of those gel pens, you could write in here. That's from the sticker collection of Charmed Life. This is Anne Estelle. This is from her Here's My Heart illustration. Home is not a place, it's a feeling. Here's another, opens up. And then I have, this opens up and can be written on. Tag, more tags. She was very well known for, Mary Inglebright was too, for the black and white check. She used that border around most all of her illustrations. And a lot of her ideas for her for her illustrations came from like from 1920s to 1940s I believe it was um, illustrators and children's books and I also did stitching around the card I believe I'm finished with it I had thought about maybe gluing a ruffled edge on in some different places but that's my Mary Inglebright Journal. Too much of a good thing is wonderful. So I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching.